To download the latest NVIDIA drivers to your computer, it's actually very simple. First thing you need to do is go to your web browser, and you want to type NVIDIA in Google, and you want to go to NVIDIA.com. Once you're here, you want to click on Products, just at the top, and then you want to click on GeForce Graphics Drivers. From here, you want to navigate to Support, just at the top, and then you want to click on Drivers. Now this is the page we're going to be downloading our drivers from, and I will leave a link in the description in case you want to go straight to it. Now there's two methods of getting our drivers. The first one at the top is an automatic detection method. When you download and run this program, it will automatically detect your hardware and download the latest NVIDIA drivers based off that. This is the method I recommend for most people, as it's the easiest way of doing things. Now if this method doesn't work for you, and then you will need to use the second method, which is to manually search for your drivers. But before we can do this, we need to find out what graphics card we've got on our computer. So to find out what graphics card we've got on our system, the first thing we need to do is click on the Windows icon at the bottom, and you want to type System Information, and you want to run it. When System Information is open, it will tell you a bunch of information about your computer. But we need to go to the top right and click on the drop down menu on Components, and then you want to click on Display. Now at the very top it's going to tell you what graphics card you've got on your system, but in this case we've got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. So now we know what graphics card we've got, we can begin to import our information. So for product type we know we've got a GeForce graphics card, and for product series we've got a 2060 in this case, so it's going to be 20 series. Now it's important to note that if you're on a laptop you will choose the notebox version instead. So once it's refreshed you want to click on product. Then you want to select the graphics card you're running, so again we've got an RTX 2060. And then under operating system you just want to select the one you're running, in this case we are running Windows 11. Ok so language is pretty self explanatory, I'm English and from the UK. And then on download type we want to keep that on all, and then we want to click on start search. This will take a few seconds to search for the correct drivers. And once the search is finished you want to scroll down to driver results, and it's going to give you a bunch of different drivers. Now we want to download the GeForce Game Ready driver and you want to make sure you're on the latest version and usually that's the top driver. So if you're happy with that you want to click on get download. Here it's going to give you a few release notes about that driver so if you want to read through that you can do and if you're happy you can click on download now. So when the driver installation opens up it should look something like this. Now first off it's going to give you two options, you can either install the graphics drivers only or you can install the graphics drivers with GeForce Experience which is what I recommend and that's what we're going to do today. You then want to click agree and continue and here it's going to give you two more options. You can either do the express installation which installs all of the drivers and keeps your current Nvidia settings or you can do a custom install where you can choose what drivers to install and you can also choose to perform a clean wipe as well which basically resets all of your Nvidia drivers to default settings. We are going to be doing a custom install today and we're also going to be performing a clean wipe so we're going to click next. It's going to prepare to install all your drivers so you just need to wait for that. So once your drivers are successfully installed under the status tab it should say install just to confirm that and it give you a couple of options here at the bottom. Now all you need to do is click on close and they have successfully been installed to your computer. Just to note that during the installation it is quite normal for your computer to freak out a little bit so don't be worried about that. And that's it, so if you have any problems just leave a comment and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.